Gotta get April out. Alright. So yeah, alright, so... Looks like my A button is jump. And B is slash. Alright, yeah, so it looks like it's all set up right. So yeah, um, I'm just doing this because... I don't know, I just felt like it. I haven't played this game in, in a while. Played the um, Turtles in Time not too long ago on Super Nintendo. And uh, you know what we're going to have to do sometime? We're going to have to do um, the Genesis uh, Hyperstone Heist. Which is also pretty cool, but different. Shit. I was always actually more a fan of um, Turtles in Time than uh, than this version, but that's all right. I, I I always did like this one too. You know, Turtles in Time, you can like throw enemies at the screen, and I thought there was a little bit more variety with the characters. Although there is, you know, mainly just uh, foot soldiers for the most part, even in Turtles in Time. But, you know, that had the Rock Soldiers, and... You know what? I think this game actually has the Rock Soldiers, too, so... I don't know. That, that might not be fair. But, I mean, Turtles in Time, I think it had Slash, and it had... Um, it just had a lot of things that, that this one didn't have. Look, Leo's burning into death in the fire. <laughs> you had this on Amiga. Love the old comics. Reading Usagi or Jimbo tonight. Hyperstone Heist is good. Impressive for a Genesis game. Shouldn't Leo be like burning to death? I feel like if you go that that low to the screen, it should probably it should probably hurt you. You know, this is something that had a very faithful port on the NES. I mean, the the NES game is just like this. A lot of times, the you know NES ports weren't too hot. But it definitely was a good one for turtles. Damn. Shredder comes out in a minute, grabs April, goes jumping out the window like a maniac. Fuck. What do you guys think? Does he look better? Does, uh,. Rocksteady look better in this game, or do you think he looks better in the new uh, the new Michael Bay movie? I'm gonna go for this game. And I know Michael Bay is not directing it, but it's like I don't you know I don't know who the other guy is. So it's produced by Michael Bay. So get my ass kicked there. I should have Donatello, I could do the bow trick. Oh wait, wrong game. Here he comes, here he comes. Rachel says, wait, they leaked Rocksteady? No, there's a trailer for the new movie. You can see Rocksteady and Bebop in the trailer. And, um, and Krang, and, if you guys haven't seen that, um, 
I guess go look at it. <laughs> if you want to. Why not multiplayer? Because nobody else is here. Undertow says April O'Neil is hot. 80s April is always hot. This game looks like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist on Genesis. Um, well, this is the arcade game. Which you should be able to tell. I put the marquee for the arcade in the in the video, which you guys should be able to see, I hope. Wait, what is this? What is that pumpkin? I never noticed that before. Look at this, like, scary fucking trick-or-treat pumpkin up here. Annie's? Or Amy's? Alright, this person on the, uh, on the skateboard comes right now, right? Or is that just the NES game? I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for them to come. I don't know. That might just be the NES game. Huh. Pizza time. Oh, there it is. Slightly late. Let's hit this. This is gonna be something. Fuck. If I was Ryu in uh, Ninja Gaiden right now, I would use my Nimpo. <laughs> no Nimpo attacks in Ninja Turtles. Yeah, uh, I've been, I guess I've been playing a lot of Ninja games lately. What do these, all these signs say? Trap Corp? Never noticed that before. It's a trap! Things that you notice 30 years later playing these games. Yeah, Star Wars. There he is. Oh. Shit. Don't fuck with Bebop. Shit, he's tough, huh? Bashing me in the face. Come on, you fucker. I waited for him. Oh! Who put the lights out? Quarter sucker. Oh, 
Fuck, come on. Oh my god, that gun is really strong. He does his little fucking King Kong dance. Come on! Dead! Bun him up. Bebop skip. Bebop skips leg day. Did I play this one much growing up? Um, I played this a lot growing up. There was, uh, I feel like every arcade that I've ever gone into, other than when I went into arcades in the early, early 80s, before the game came out, has had this arcade, has had this machine. This is one of the most popular arcade machines ever. I mean, I would think. Because, um, you know, Ninja Turtles are so popular. But, um, a lot of times I couldn't find uh, Turtles in Time. I would go into an arcade and they would have this, but they wouldn't have Turtles in Time, which always upset me because I, I like Turtles in Time a little bit better than this. But um, but I do like this game a lot, and um, yeah, I, I mean, I played this and I played, um, you know, the NES port of this. Well, it's just a fucking shit ton. And maybe people in the chat know, um, I feel like the NES game is actually um, longer than this. I feel like there, there might actually be more levels in the NES game than in the, in the arcade. Um, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but some, something tells me that, that I think there's like, there's certain stages that are in the NES game that are not in the, in the arcade, I think. These are Mausers, these are the creation of uh, Baxter Stockman. Pizza time, that's right. Can't outsword Leonardo. What are you doing? No, oh, they don't want me going down there. Love the NES snow level. The NES snow level and samurai level. Okay, so people are saying the snow level in the NES game and the samurai level. That's what I thought. I knew that there were some stages that aren't in this. And I also, I remember the snow level and the samurai level both being really hard. Um, you know, as much as it could be for, uh, you know, for an NES game, I guess, but, or for, I should say, for like a think up game, but, um, you know, the NES game, I guess, is a lot harder than, than the, uh, than the arcade. The arcade, you just, if you have enough money, you can beat it, you just keep popping in quarters, you'll beat the game, but, um, or I guess the challenge is, you know, if you don't have enough quarters, you gotta try to make it, you know, make it on fucking... This guy's kicking my ass. He would've cost me a lot of quarters. Um, Alright, so is this gonna be Baxter? Baxter Stockman, I think I remember, comes out here and... Fucking... But when you're playing on the NES, you just have continues, so if you run out, you're pretty much fucked. Special breed of Mauser popping out here. There we go. Oh, it's tough to hit. Boom! Wow, he died a lot quicker than I thought he was gonna. Come and get him, shell brain! Yeah, I guess Krang is the final boss in this, huh? Is you fight Shredder first and then Krang. Which, that always made a lot more sense to me. Um, I felt like, always felt that Krang was the true... The true villain. Although a lot of times, um... Cause you know, um, Krang was kinda... Shit. You know, Krang had a whole army. You know, they never... I guess, like, Shredder and Krang were always sort of... 
at odds with each other, like which one was gonna, you know, be the true sort of uh, bad guy. They didn't. They didn't like each other, but they kind of. They needed each other, I guess. Krang and Shredder. And I'm going back to you know the old, the old days and the original, the original cartoon. At least the the episodes that took themselves seriously, which were not many. Because, you know, the original Ninja Turtle cartoon got really goofy a lot. But some of the episodes took themselves a little bit more seriously. I gotta watch out for this fucking Buicks. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Like, the original, um, five-part, um, episodes of... The turtles. Um, and the, I guess more like the first season of the show it took itself a little bit more, uh, a little bit more seriously than than, la than they did later on. I mean, it was never serious. It was always like goofy, but it was like a little bit more. Um, it had a little bit more of a serious tone earlier on, and then it just got to be absurd. You know, with all the giant Irma and whatever, all the ridiculous episodes. Now I gotta fucking tangle with both of these motherfuckers at the same time. You know, it's a great fight in Turtles in Time when you have to fight them, uh, and they're dressed up as pirates. Love that. And they're such boneheads. Slamming into each other. What a great fucking cartoon this was. I remember, um, I used to have... Shit, I'm trying to get that pizza. I used to have a deck of cards. Or I used to collect, like, Ninja Turtle cards. Fuckers. Anybody remember those cards that had images from the episodes on them? I don't know if anybody else had those. I think they came in little, um, little, like, yellow packages. I fucking love those. And some of the cards were stickers. Love the cartoon. Got the turtle collection bus. Right. I used to have the TMNT movie Viewmaster, somebody said. Yeah, I, th I feel like I might have had that too. Nobody saying anything about the cards. Uh, I used to own those cards. Barry Ape said he used to own those cards. I love those cards. I had a. Uh, I remember I I collected them like individually. I think like later on you could actually bu just buy them all. There was a, there was a way to just like buy buy the whole collection, but I never did that. I actually collected them like individually and I put them into like a a binder or something. I was trying to get them all like that way, and um, I guess sort of the way you're supposed to do it and. Um, Instead of just, you know, buying the whole collection. And I remember, at one point, I got, like, all the cards, but I, I had, like, uh, I don't know, I was missing, like, one of the early cards, and I never completed the collection, because I was missing, like, Donatello or something. It's fucking... So, I was angry about that. <laughs> that I couldn't... And then there was no way to buy them anymore, you know? They, like, went out of stock, or you couldn't find them anymore, and then, you know... Then for years, I, I had all the cards, except for, like, one. I always... Always made me upset. <laughs> I didn't have them all. Come on. You, oh, you got it. Okay. Wait. Fucking jump. All right. These guys are fucking assholes. I forget. Those guys had names too. I don't remember what their names were. Can't really do anything with that. Oh god. Look at this madness. So yeah guys, tell me, the people in the chat, tell me about the, like, did anybody else have like kind of obscure Ninja Turtle stuff? I remember going to uh, Pizza Hut and I think Burger King, and there was like the Burger King Kids Club, and they had 
they they did like a Ninja Turtle thing for a little while. It was like a Burger King Ninja Turtle uh, fucking like clip or something like you know like you put like a if you have a bag of potato chips and you put like a clip on it. Well, there was like a Ninja Turtle like potato chip bag clip or something like that. You, you could get it. You could get a Burger King. <laughs> it was awesome. What else do you need out of life than a fucking Ninja Turtle fucking potato chip bag clip? I mean, meanwhile, you're getting it at Burger King, so it's like two unhealthy things at once. It's like, alright, let me eat some fucking greasy burger and then go home and eat a bag of potato chips and put my Ninja Turtle fucking clip on it. <laughs> but I guess the Ninja Turtles were never, uh, never big... Uh, advocates of health, really, right? Since they all ate fucking pizza. But they definitely were always telling you not to do drugs. Hey kids, don't do drugs, man! Yeah, they, they were a really good um, person to tell you not to do drugs. There was also like the Pee Wee Herman ad that Pee Wee Herman was like, Hey everybody, don't do cocaine! <laughs> okay, thanks Pee Wee. I'm totally gonna take your advice there. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's like there was like ads, and then there was um, there was like ads on TV for like don't do drugs, and there was a lot of ads in the turtle books about don't do drugs. And um, then there was the uh, there was that cartoon, uh, in, uh, car cartoon All Stars to the Rescue, with um, oh my God, it was like Garfield, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny is like. Don't do drugs, Doc. You know, that whole thing. Fucking cartoon all-stars to the rescue. Who else? I, Michelangelo was in it. The Ninja Turtles were in it. Alvin and the Chipmunks, I think. Uh, fucking car cartoon all-stars, man. And then the kid, like, tr fucking has a drug trip at the end of the movie, I think. You guys remember Cartoon All-Stars, right? I had the pizza thrower. Yeah, the pizza thrower or something in the chat's talking about. Um, it's funny, James and I did that goat simulator video. And uh, these guys are kind of hard to hit. Jesus. What the fuck? I'm, like, not hitting them at all. Um, they, and then they just flew away. Can you, can you not hit them? Interesting. Maybe you're just supposed to avoid there. Oh, no, they're coming back. There's got to be a way to get these guys. Fuck. See, I remember... Shit. Remember in the NES game, you could hit these fucking... There you go, you can hit them, alright. I'm just not doing a good job. That's all. The skateboards are so 80s. Oh, I, I, I guess everything about this is, is kind of 80s, isn't it? How can he even survive with 80,000 bombs dropping on his head? That part is easier to do with an NES controller. Doing, doing the jump kicking. There we go. It's tough. It's tough to do. I guess you gotta... There we go. I'm trying to get the jump kicking controls now. Probably would be good if uh, I had somebody else helping me. <laughs> Leo or Raph or. Or not Leo. Uh, Mike or Don or Raph. Oh my god. There we go, there's a turtle van. I had the turtle van too. That was a great, uh, great toy. You know, there was the Thunder Tank, there was the turtle van. Whatever, you know, every fucking series had a... He-Man had the, um, attack track. Let's see, what other big brand... Oh, the, uh, Ghostbusters had the Ecto-1. You know, there was always the vehicle. Always the vehicle. But the Turtle Van was awesome. I remember that I got the Turtle Van the same day that I got... I'm pretty sure, at least, I got the Turtle Van the same day that I got Dick Tracy on NES. Yeah. What day that was. 
the turtle van was about 8 million times better. I'm pretty sure Pee Wee's PSA was part of suspended sentence for drug possession. I, I don't know about that, Jake. I, I haven't I haven't heard that one. I assume that's a, just a joke, though. But yeah, he did a public service announcement thing. Fuck! Not a good place to stand in between the fucking lasers. Shit. I hate these guys with the little, like, rat tat 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 fucking guns. Come on, there we go. Finally, I got the kick to work a little bit. Boom. You know what I, I also I miss about Turtles in Time when I play this? Bring Apple! 3 a.m. Like, without those voices, come on. You gotta have that. So we're surfing. Bury my shell at wounded knee. <laughs> Prehistoric Turtlesaurus. What else is there? I'm missing a couple. Um, um, the other ones. Oh, Neon Knight Riders. These games are so much fun. <laughs> Let's kick shell. Let's kick shell. These fucking things. I hate these things. Who else hates these things? How about you, chat? Do you hate these fuck- Look at it, look at it, look at it, look, look. I'm fucking trapped in a corner here. I'm caught in a trap, I can't get out. I enjoy everything about this channel. You guys bring back many memories, by the way. Is some more board James coming? I love your board James persona so much, and that's from Gaming Channel. And thank you for the don donation, Gaming Channel. Um, Right now, uh, the Nightmare episode was the was the finale uh, for the time being. Just sort of the way, uh, if you guys remember the Dream Phone episode, that was the finale uh, of Season 2. And so Nightmare was the finale of Season 3. Um, when we did uh, Dream Phone, we weren't sure uh, if it was going to come back or whatever. That was sort of the end of that. So we don't, we ha we don't know right now. Um, right now, uh, right now we're focusing on AVGN actually, and um, so we've been working on that. But at the moment, I just wanted to play a little turtles. This fucking guy. Okay, now, chat. This is what I want. This is this is actually important to me. I'm fu so fucking glad this guy's here. What is this fucking guy's name? Because I know the other dude, and he's I know he's kicking my ass, but. The other dude is, um, Krang's, like, rock warrior from Dimension X is General Trag. This guy is, like, General Trag's lieutenant or something. What is this fucking guy's name? If I never fucking knew this guy's name in my life, and I always wanted to know his name. He's gotta- I, by this point in 2016, they had to have given this fucking guy a name. What is this dude's name? Somebody fucking tell me. Not- no, I'm not talking about Splinter. <laughs> so I know Splinter's hanging up there and I gotta save him. And I know it- yes, I know it's one of Krang's generals, but what's his name? Cause- <laughs> Somebody said Sergeant Hardon! Ha! <laughs> okay, well whatever his actual name is, that's a better name. Guy with boobs. Um... Awesome game, great choice. Yeah, this is a great game, it's a classic. So, guys, you gotta tell me, what is his- Robot Birdo, somebody said. Um, Granitor! Granitor! Fucking Granitor? Never knew that. Fucking awesome. Did he have a name? This is this is what I want to know. Back when this game came out, and when the Turtles cartoon was out, did he have that name, Granitor? Or, did they, when did he get that name? Like, wh what was the first time they ever used Granitor as, um... When was that ever, what, what was the first time that was used, I guess? Because I remember being a kid and always fucking r wondering what this guy's name was. And I never knew, because it, it was never... And also, he wasn't like an action figure back then 
I mean, he probably is now or something, but when we were kids, like, there was a general drag figure. Yeah, he's Granitor. Um, that fucking guy. I love that guy. So there's Granitor. Oh, the Technodrome! Look, it's underground, not flying in the fucking air. That's what was menacing about the Technodrome, is that it came out of the fucking ground, and it would, like, trample over fucking buildings, and it'll come and it'll trample over your house. That's what the Technodrome is all about! Come on! Right? Am I right, or am I right? Or am I right? Right? Have you guys seen Groundhog's Day? <laughs> Oh, we've done a video on the Super Nintendo version. Yeah, it's Granitor. Okay, all right. See, I was looking. I was trying to look down at the chat for a second, and then it, a giant bomb came down and got me. Guess that's what happens. They're like, gotta keep going, keep moving. Shit. And somebody said you should be playing the superior SNES version, but this game is not on SNES because this is not Turtles in Time. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. So, sorry, but this game is not on Super Nintendo. But it is on NES. And it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, which um, sort of... Uh, really helped the Turtle franchise on the on the Nintendo console, because people hated the first game. A lot of people did, anyway, because of things like hitting your head on the ceiling in the sewer and falling in the water, because it's a tough jump to make, and a whole host of other reasons. And probably the fact that it's a hard fucking game. Wait, wait. Alright, so is General Trag gonna be... I feel like it's General Trag. He's gonna be the boss. Because the, uh, I think it's Turtles in Time that has Toka and Razar. I think. I'd be surprised if this game had Toka and Razar. I feel like the end of this is gonna be General Trag. Or maybe he comes later. Now I'm trying to think about who... Or maybe it's Slash. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Because it because there's more to this game after this, like it doesn't just go to shredder and end, right? Shit, is this like the end of the game already? This might be a lot shorter than um I don't know. Because it's not like I'm gonna go back in time here. Oh yeah, it's general track. You know what? This game might be a lot shorter than I than I remember it being. Alright, so I got that. That's unfortunate if it's if it's already almost over because I was actually really enjoying this. I'll have to play it again sometime when uh, I don't know, like Ryan or James are around or something. That way we can uh, maybe we'll have to get four player It'll be with me, Ryan, James, and Bootsy or something. But I mean, there's also a lot of um, arcade beat 'em ups that we could do like that. Uh, I'd like to do. My, my favorite arcade beat-em-up game is actually the Dungeons and Dragons Shadow of Mastaro, and you know, I've said that before, I did a whole video on it, and I feel like the, the reason why I like that better than most of the other beat-em-ups is it's a little less redundant. As fun as this game is, you know, there's not a lot to it other just than just punch and kick, kind of, um, for the most part, and uh, where the Dungeons and Dragons games, it has, it has a lot more to it. It's a little more, it's a little more involved. I did a whole review on it. If you wanna know more about that, you can check it out. It's on, uh, I guess it's on YouTube now. Yeah, that's a great game. But uh, but I do like this a lot. As simple as it is. Simple, simple in theory. Come on, Trag. Blinking like a motherfucker. No Toko Razar in this fucking game. 
I'm not gonna be turning me into. There we go. Into a baby turtle. He's dead. What about Streets of Rage 2? We actually did Streets of Rage 2 on a live stream with uh, James. So. Is this gonna be the end of the game already? Oh, is it Krang first and then Shredder? Interesting. Oh, it's Krang! Krang's body. Krang's body actually talks in a few episodes of the original Ninja Turtles, which is really weird. And by the way, I love, 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 love the sprite animation in this. Look at how awesome Krang looks. I mean, it's like very, um, it, it just looks cool. I think it looks awesome. I'm a huge fan of, um, sort of like, uh, this, this period of like arcade graphics. I, I think it just looks awesome. It's very, it's pixelized, it's almost like 16-bit looking, yet not, I don't know. And I always thought the effect in the background looked really cool. The, the portal, I suppose, to Dimension X. And I think it's cool that you actually fight, you fight his body. The android, the android body. I actually have the toy, the android body right over there. I remember when I was a kid, uh, I had, when, when you originally got the, the toy of Krang, it came in, uh, the, uh, his little walker thing. And, uh, which was always upsetting because I wanted it to be, you know, in the body, like, like he is here. And, uh, the body didn't come out until many years later, or at least... I think it was like around the time of, I want to say, Ninja Turtles 3. Like the mo the movie Turtles 3, and by that point I was like kind of out of Ninja Turtles. You know, I was on to other things. And uh, so I remember going into a store, it was uh, Woolworths, and they had, they had Krang's body, and I was like, oh man. Like there it is, finally. But... I didn't get it because it was like I was I was sort of out of my Ninja Turtle phase by then. You know, I mean, I've, oh, I always loved Ninja Turtles, but you know, I wasn't really buying the top toys anymore. But at some point, some sometime later, I finally got the fucking thing, so I have it now. And James and I have done videos on the uh, the Ninja Turtle toys. Uh, if you want to check those out, we did a video called um, Generation. Generation, there's Generation TMNT and then Generation TMNT 2, where we kind of talk rather in depth about the Ninja Turtle action figures, so you can check that out. Maybe I should pay attention to fighting Krang here. Why he kicks me in the fucking ass. Come on, you fucker. Shooting lasers at his fucking eyes like Clark Kent. Superman, X-ray vision. Shit. Come on! He's fucking crazy. And then I guess Shredder is gonna come out right after this, huh? Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Boom! 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 You're invincible? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, piece of shit! And he's gone. I am invincible! <laughs> Which one is it? Which one's the real Shredder? Is there a difference? Which one's Shredder? I don't know which one's Shredder! Tonight, I die on turtle soup! Ah! <laughs> Fucker. And the fucking toy of Shredder was just... They came out with good versions of Shredder later. But the... Oh, no! No! The original toy... Oh, is that him? The one without that fucking helmet? Is that how this works? No, it doesn't work like that. Oh, he's splitting up. Oh shit! Fuck, fuck. Turning me into turtle soup, for sure. Maybe I knocked the fucking helmet off of the one, and then the one that doesn't have the fucking... Yeah, it's the one that doesn't have the helmet, right? That's the one I gotta fight? So that's real Shredder. No! Yeah, that, I'm fighting real, come on, real Shredder. Cause they're not, both the helmets aren't gonna come off, right? Nah, I didn't mean to do that. Now he's gonna split up again, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, and the fucking thing with that is, um, when you, uh, hang on, when you hit the shredder, yeah, when you hit shredder without the helmet, it's like one hit and he's fucking gone. Yoshi. No. See, I'm just attacking the Shredder with the helmet because, uh... No, see, I didn't mean to do that. See, it's literally one fucking hit with fake fake Shredder and he's fucking gone. Oh! They're bo both the helmets are off. Yeah! Motherfucker! Cowabunga! So I was able to play this with an actual arcade controller, which is... Which is cool, because it gives that arcade experience. Boom, and the Tectodrome blows up. Freak the foots, mangled the Mausers, and totaled the Technodrome! That's turtle power, dudes. But what about the Shredder, and what about Krang? He's invincible, right? Went off to Dimension X. Burn to toast? Vaporize to a milkshake? Or escape to Dimension X? I think they went off to build a time machine is what I think they did.